I always ask you guys to bring a notebook because I normally I like to make lists of things that uh, that I'm talking about. Uh, today is no different than that. Um, had a great conversation today with Holden, and we started talking about your reputation. So I'd like to talk to you about how you can develop a good reputation. What? Why is a good reputation important? Well, uh, take your shoes off for me. Put them over there. Why is a good reputation important? Why do you, what do you think? Good relationships helps with the relationships. Good relationships. Um, it opens doors for you too, doesn't it though? A good reputation, let's say in your community, a good reputation uh, with people uh, is very powerful. Let's take a person whose reputation is to always do something wrong. Uh, you have them, would you have them over for dinner? Would you, would you enjoy their company at all? If you knew they were gonna lie to you, you knew they were gonna steal from you, you knew that they were gonna um, be completely uh, utterly uh, disgusting to be around, would you want to be around them? No, but if you knew the person was a good person, honest, uh, dependable, Trust reliable, you. yeah, it makes a difference, doesn't it though? You would want to be around that person, it makes you feel good, uh, make people in the community feel good. Way different than some uh, inviting some scumbag over, right? I mean, let's, let, let's face it, if you had a, a friend, and I've talked to you about um, and several friends of mine, one, uh, uh, someone who is kind of a drain in society. We talked about the difference between drains and fountains last week, if you recall. Uh, for those of you that don't remember, a drain type person uh, versus a fountain person. A fountain person flows, he goes, he grows, he moves, he stays alive. It's running water, it's movement. Um, drain people, their whole job is just to suck. Uh, they just suck the life out of you. They parasite. suck the enjoyment out. They're parasites, right? They so there's a difference between a fountain person and a drain person. We want to be around fountains. We want to be around people that inspire us and motivate us. And at the very minimum, we know what we can expect from them and it's something positive, right? So to build a good reputation, there's a few steps in this. And it doesn't happen overnight. You can't go, well, I, I think from now on, I'm gonna be a good person. Well, that's nice, but it's gonna take time to, to uh, fortify the, the structure of your reputation, right? We need to build this foundation. So step number one, you wanna write this down. Step number one to how to build a great reputation is do what you say you're going to do. Your word has to be your absolute law. My teacher, Blackhawk, um, one of my teachers up here, Blackhawk, he always says, your word is your law. If you say it, you're gonna do it. Now, for those of you guys that know me, do I pretty much do that? Absolutely, if I say it, I'm going to do it. It, it will take God himself to prevent me from doing what I say I'm going to do. Now, if you get that kind of reputation that if you say you're gonna be somewhere, you're there. You say, I'm gonna be at, at the job site at 7 a.m. And you're there, preferably earlier than 7 a.m. Yeah. You say it, you do it. It's the gospel. You want to be able to have your word taken to the bank. They can write a check on it. If you say, you know what, I'm going to take you to uh, the DMV uh, to get your ID card for a friend and you don't show up, when you say you're gonna show up, what do you think, how much do you think they're gonna believe you next time you promise them something? Relationships and, and is like a bank. You make deposits and sometimes you can take withdrawals. But if you take more withdrawals than you take and then you put in deposits, eventually you're gonna run on negative credit. This is, becomes a bad reputation. If you're putting more deposits in this trust bank, then you are taking out withdrawals, then you are going to run into a positive credit, a positive reputation. It's a great start by making your word your law. If you say it, do it. Don't go back on it unless 
something is absolutely preventing you that is unpreventable. Let's say, I'm going to be at work at this time, but you caught COVID, okay? You can't be there, obviously. That's an act of God. I'm coming in this time, but there's a car accident. Boom! And all of a sudden, you're stuck in traffic. Huh, an act of God. I'm going to be at work at this time, but the power went off last night and you overslept. Okay, an act of God. But as long as that doesn't, as long as you're honest about it and they know that you are honest about it, you won't have a problem. I've had that happen a few times at one of my last place of employment that I worked at. They knew if I said it, I was going to do it. A few times, a very few times in the several years I worked there, did I have an accident like uh, my alarm clock didn't get off. That happened once. And I called them. I said, hey, you know, they normally write people up for being late and stuff. Uh, but I was always on time. I never called in. I was always there. So, you know what they said? Oh, don't worry about it. Just come in as fast as you can. Did I get written up? No, because my reputation preceded me. Because they knew if I said I was going to do it, I was going to be there despite the, an act of God. Does that make sense? So number one rule, make your word your law. Wouldn't you like to have a friend that is just like that in your life? Someone that you can count on? Okay, okay step number two, emulate those you look up to. The people that you look up to in life, the successful people. Uh, Anthony Robbins would always say, you know, find a mentor and do what they do. Um, Red Hawk always said, don't reinvent the wheel. If you find something successful, do that. Uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Same thing uh, in this. If you have a successful person that you know has a great reputation, if you have a person that you really look up to, emulate what they're doing. They're obviously doing something right. Our last conversation, I talked to you about the tour guide in the mountain, right? The guy who wants to climb all the way up to the top of the mountain, but he doesn't have a tour guide. So he's circling the mountain going, I'm not sure which way to go. He ventures up a little bit and gets lost. And he's like, what the heck? I don't know where I'm at. Where am I supposed to go? And all of a sudden, way at the top of the mountain, the guy going, hey, bro, now, uh, this way, this way. Uh, you've got to find a tour guide. You got to find a mentor. You got to find somebody you look up to and go, that guy's got it down, man. You know, maybe not the guy who's failing. So you get up with a bunch of friends and maybe they're, and their suggestion is, you know what the best thing to do is? I got an idea. I've got it. Let's, let's steal something from a store and, uh, and, and that will, that would be super fun and cool. We could do that. And you look at their life, and their life is just a shambles, or they're in a, and just as a bad place as you, or worse, they're not the person to look up to or even listen to. I remember Blackhawk telling me this story where he said, you know, this guy wanted to sell him insurance, man. Oh, I'm sorry, not insurance. He wanted to give him financial advice. He was going to get, he put it all out there. He was going to show him how to become a millionaire and all these things. But the problem is when he showed up to the door, he was driving a beater. You know, smoke coming out, <laughs> pow, pow, backfiring. He shows up to the door, Blackhawk's door, and Blackhawk looks at his car and is like, I, I, I don't want this appointment anymore. Why? He's trying to tell him how to be rich. He's driving, showing up in a little beater car. And in Blackhawk's mind, that was a, a symbol of this guy is no more successful or less successful than I am. Why would I listen to him? If you've got somebody trying to influence you and doing something negative in a negative, nasty way, look at them. Are they in a better spot than you are? No, probably not. And if they're not at the top of the mountain, I wouldn't listen to them anyway. Doesn't that make sense? So what do you want to do? What do you want to be? You need to decide or at least have an idea. I suspect all of you want to be at least happy. Well, how many happy people do you know? How many happy people do you know? And what are they doing to truly be happy? What are they doing? They're the people to listen to, not the people that are failing miserably at life. They're the people to listen to, not the people who are 
terribly unhappy in their life. You see a guy walking around depressed and uh, a frown on his face, a face and it's like a drain type of person. You don't run up to him and go, hey bro, tell me your secrets of how to be successful. <laughs> no, you look for the person that you can look up to. Someone's doing it, living it. Yeah? Make sense? Um, the next day, number three, never talk bad about somebody else. Don't talk bad about people. Don't gossip and say negative, spread negative things, because all that does is it feeds negativity in your own life, right? It just builds resentment. It builds hatred. Don't live in hatred. Don't put that in your mind. Don't talk bad about somebody else. If you have a problem with someone, what should you do? Talk. Confront them. Yeah, talk to them. And I don't mean confront them like, what's up? You you know, like aggressively. No, just talk to them. Uh, there was a time when I had a little, uh, you know, uh, disagreement with uh, with. I wouldn't even say who it was, with a person here recently. And I just called them and talked to them. Not like threatening or, or anything like that, but just, you know, like a person. Respect. Respectful. There's no need to have negativity in your life. Don't feed that in your brain. Don't put that in your brain. Give yourself the opportunity to grow and expand. Be positive. What you put in here, it's going to stay in there. It's going to create some negativity. You don't need it. You don't need it.